Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. My name is Sojourner and I'm filling in for my mom because her arm is still broken. And today we're making a creamy chickpea curry. So the first thing we want to do is to cook the onions and the garlic down. So I just have this burner on high and I'm going to add a little bit of water because we don't eat it. Very hot. <laughs> Um, we don't use any oil. So I have two, three garlic cloves, one red onion, and one white onion, just diced. And we're just gonna cook that down until the onions are translucent. Okay, so now we've cooked down the onions until they're pretty translucent. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar just to give it more of a sharp flavor. And we'll add our spices. So we have onion powder, um, red curry powder, nutritional yeast, um, chipotle powder, and you can kind of use chili powder or anything to make it a little bit spicy, that's just what we had. Um, turmeric powder, more for color, cinnamon, uh, smoked paprika, pepper, and... Hmm. I can't remember the other one, but it will be in the description below. <laughs> Too many powders. And just add that in with your onions. Cook it for a second. And cooking the spices before with the onions just kind of brings out the flavor of the spices more. So they're not so lost when you add all the other liquids, things like that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water because it's pretty dry. We don't want it to start burning. And we can add the tomato paste now. I just have one can of unsalted tomato paste. And just stir that all together. Okay, now that the tomato paste is pretty much incorporated with the onions and the spices, we're just gonna add the coconut milk and pretty much all the rest of the ingredients. That's what I really love about this curry is that you can just, you pretty much just add all the ingredients and cook it down because I don't like to stand at the pan adding stuff for an hour. And then we have one, it's one box of tomato puree, um, but you could just use a can. I think the measurements are a little different, but either way, whatever amount is still gonna taste really good as long as you just cook it down. Okay, just turn that together a little bit. And now we have three cans of chickpeas. They're also unsalted. We try to just use unsalted for everything canned and just everything in between. And also some raisins. It's about a quarter cup of raisins. And lastly, some brags. And if you're trying to do SOS, the salt um, free, cooking, then just leave the brags out. I personally eat a little brags just because I like a little bit of a salty flavor, but we try not to eat too much of it. So just about a teaspoon of that. And you're just gonna let this cook down until it's pretty thick, um, just like a nice curry consistency, and then we'll add the kale from there because that just pretty much needs to wilt. It doesn't really need to cook down. So we've cooked down the curry for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, it all depends on how you like your curry. My mom likes more of a saucy curry. I like more of a thick curry. So, you know, just adjust it. It might be 10 more minutes if you like a thick curry, but this is a pretty good in between. And the last step we're gonna add is kale. And we have baby kale, which I really like to use because it's more of like a spinach consistency. If you use fresh kale, it just takes longer to cook and it's kind of chewy. So this is just super soft. So I just will, I'm gonna add the whole box. It's probably about three cups of baby kale. And that will just take a few seconds to cook down. Okay, so we've let our kale cook down for probably a minute or two, just till it's soft. So I'm just gonna scoop a little bit out. And taste it. 
gonna taste a little bit of the sauce because it is boiling, boiling hot. Mmm, really good. Super creamy and, you know, super customizable. You can make it more spicy, you could make it more, you know, mild, whatever you like. Add different vegetables, add different greens. So this is kind of just like my easy go-to curry that doesn't take too long. So, hope you enjoy it.